video number two of the KFA Explorer build. Carrying on from the last video, number one, which is already uploaded obviously, uh, you can see behind me there's a glowing tent. Looks like some sort of halo. The aeroplane is in there, there's lights set up, as you can see. It's all sealed off on the ground and now we're going to start the paint on the actual fuselage itself. So I'm a bit nervous for this one. Uh, I'd like the finish to be nice, of course. It'd be silly if I didn't. So what we're going to do is make a start and see how it ends up. Um, now this is a very cheap way of, of painting your aeroplane. Uh, but like I said in the last video, that's what it's all about. So yeah, take what you want from, from this setup. It's from Bunnings uh, with drop sheets on the ground to seal it up. It probably cost me $150 in total for this paint booth. So yeah, I'll give you a bit of a look around the halo thing and then we'll get into it and, and put the first, first piece of paint on. So I bought this little table, so I can put the paints on there, it currently has uh, my phone and the speaker on there, so I can work with music. I've got the power cable running through the roof for these little lights. Lights were $20 each from Bunnings, I bought three of them but I, the other one's on the ground still, the power cable won't reach, so two, two's pretty good though, so I might just stick with that. Um, the wind got strong and ripped this bit, it's not terrible but I will fix that and you can see it's all sealed along here all along the sides and the front there will be a wall that goes on the front so this will be sealed uh, now I'm either going to have to set up some sort of breathing apparatus or I'm just going to have to get really good at holding my breath because the only problem with this setup is it's not a proper paint booth so ventilation is going to be an issue that is the drawback of what I'm the way I'm doing it but if it gets too bad, I'll just walk outside. So yeah, this is exciting. Uh, we'll make a start. Now, you'll notice when I'm painting in this video, I'm not using a spray gun. I don't have an air compressor running. And I didn't plan on doing it like this, but I went to the paint shop today and they convinced me to try doing it with this, the entire aeroplane. It's gloss black. Apparently it's exactly, no, apparently it suits the job that I'm doing. Uh, I questioned and said, what about a two pack paint from a gun? Um, and they, they said, just trust us, um, try this out. They read all about the primer that's on the airplane and said, yes, this will work perfect. So painting's not my thing. So I just trusted the people that work at the paint shop. Uh, now I'm not that concerned about the finish of it. I'd like it to be nice of course, but you don't see most of it, it all gets covered anyway, so as long as it's protecting it from corrosion, um, I mean that's the most important important thing, but yeah, we'll see how this paint goes. Uh, I definitely wasn't expecting to be using a can for this, but yeah, you can see here, I think I bought about seven of them, um, hopefully it's enough. So don't judge, just see if it works out, it might be a good thing. Um, painting, like I said, painting is not my thing. So I'm a bit gullible when it comes to painting advice. Surprisingly, the fumes aren't as bad as I was expecting. This mask is pretty effective. Uh, I have it on very tight, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I can breathe okay. So I've just finished painting the rudder. Uh, it's currently hanging from the roof. There. Um, so far, from what I can see, it hasn't really dried hard yet, but. The finish is really nice, uh, it's glossy, it's not really running. This stuff might be a better option than using a two-pack uh, gun setup. I mean, it's out of a spray can straight over the primer. The 
prepping and the setup so easy, so this might be something to consider. I did a little test spray on the wall here in the tent. So this works pretty good. Quite happy with this. I can I can work with it. Plenty of room. You can hang stuff from the roof. Probably won't to put too much weight on it, so I don't pull the roof down on myself, but yeah, this works good. This is what home building is all about. So once that dries, I'll move it. Uh, let it sit around for probably 24 hours, let it cure. And then I'm going to bring in the elevators, the wing struts, do all of those. I'll probably put the fuselage outside because once it's in here and I'm going to paint it, I want it, it has to be wax and grease removed, obviously, so the paint works properly. So, and that's a big job on the fuselage, so I don't want to start it halfway and then not do it because then I'll have to probably do it again with the dust. Um, so yeah, I'll put the airframe outside the shed, just out the front there, still in the shed, but outside this tent. Uh, bring all the smaller parts in here to do those. Uh, yeah, I suppose this is going to move me for a while, for a while painting. Uh, it's quite satisfying, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into the fit out piece, pieces. So yeah, uh, there's probably not too much more to tell you. It's about as simple as that. This. I don't even know what brand it is. Hardcore. It looks like something I'd go graffiti a bridge with, but um, yeah, I mean, it works good. How long it lasts, I don't know. The paint lady, the lady at the paint shop said it's the best stuff out, and I, you know, it's a new, not a new way of doing it, but it's a way of doing it that not many people think is right, but yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty happy. So, yeah, I'll get back to you when I have more parts done. The only reason I'm wearing gloves and I do this is because the oil off your hands goes onto the paint if you're not wearing gloves. I'm not scared of the wax and grease remover. Um, yeah, I'll turn that music down, sorry. Yeah, so the only reason I'm wearing gloves to do this is because the oil on your hands going onto the primer. As you wipe it, you've also got to hold it, otherwise it does donuts. So then you're grabbing it again and putting oil back on it, you see? so. It sort of defeats the purpose of wax and grease removing whatever you're about to paint. So, um, yeah, these are cheap, wear gloves, and um, yeah, it'll save a little bit of oil going onto the primer after it's been sanded. Yes, I won't bore you with any more of that, uh, we'll cut to painting. I did that just to dry out the wax and grease remover. Uh, it's probably not necessary, but it feels good. It feels wrong painting with a can, but it, it seriously works good. I know there'll probably be paint critics that watch it, fair enough, I get it, but 
this this is gonna work for me. Um, I mean, it's paint, you know, no, I'm not gonna say anymore. I'll embarrass myself. But yeah, I'm happy with what I'm doing. And it's cheap and it's easy and I'm getting it done. So yeah, this is a cool way to do it. I'm gonna, uh, sorry, I'm gonna get the camera out of here before the lens gets overspray on it too. Been a couple hours since I last spoke to you. Uh, I've done the elevator, horizontal stabilizer, rudder, and the baggage compartment rails. I've still got the mask and glasses on because it's a little bit fumey, to say the least. Um, so I'll take you inside, give you a bit of a look. Right. And these are the aluminium angles that'll hold the baggage compartment uh, floor in. And out there painted, they'll be right to go in once the fuselage is painted also. And here's the rudder. It's finish is really nice. I'm very impressed uh, out of the can. So I think so far from what I'm seeing, old love at Inspirations paint. It's done pretty good. Done me proud. Um, the finish is looking good. It's been really easy to paint. It's not dripping. It, there's no um, orange peel. There's nothing. It it looks really good. Um, so yeah, I think I'll use this for the rest of the build, to be honest. Look at it. So what I've done is I've pushed the fuselage outside of the tent. I'll turn it around so you can see. So it's out there, see through these beautiful windows. Fuselage is out there. Now what have I got left to do? Probably the firewall. Uh, not the firewall, the engine mount. Just sitting on the lounge here. That still needs to be done. The entire fuselage needs to be done. The wing struts. These ones, both of those need to be done. The jury struts. They need to be done. So. Yeah, I might call it a night. Uh, yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning, so I should probably call it a night and go home. It's actually a pretty good night to paint tonight. Um, I should take my PPE off. It's a pretty good night to paint. Um, it's pretty warm. It's about 23 degrees in here at the moment, so really good for painting. It's a comfortable temperature. It's not cold, so uh, yeah. I think we got lucky on the night now that summer's back. I'll continue this video tomorrow, uh, painting the rest of the components. God, I look a mess. <laughs> painting the rest of the components, and when we come back in the morning, we'll be able to see how these dried up. I'm very excited for that. And then before we know it, we'll be into the fit-out stage. Once all the painting's done for everything, then we can start the fit-out, and once we bolt something into the aircraft, it stays. That's how it will be. So there won't be any taking it out and then refitting it. It'll, that'll be final final bolt in final fit out so we can only move forwards from here so yeah this is the messy part most people dread the painting part including myself it's not that bad you just got to do it make a start and yeah so I'm in the sperm suit still I had just a mask on safety glasses and some gloves and I'm still a mess so it doesn't really help but anyway that's all good all part of it I'm going to go home and I'll see you on the next shot. Alright, just quickly these parts dried overnight. It's a horizontal stabilizer, elevators up here. They turned out really good. So this paint's good stuff. I've just finished wax and grease removing the airframe, fuselage. 
sand it back, it's clean, and it's now ready for paint. So we're going to start that right now. So I'm back in the sperm suit. Earphones are in, gonna put the mask on, gonna put the glasses on, and make a start on this paint. This will probably be the rest of the afternoon thing. It's two o'clock in the afternoon now. So, this is exciting, since the last time you'll see it yellow. I'll get back to you when it's done. We're getting it done. Front section done, cabin section I haven't touched yet, turtle deck area I haven't touched yet, and the empennage I've started. Tail section's pretty well done, I'm sure I'll find some little spots I missed. So I'm not going to touch the back again until you know, another day or so, let it dry properly and then we'll come back and have another look. So yeah, the uh, novelty's wearing off. I'd like to get this bit done. Uh, the finish so far. The way it's going down on the airframe is really nice. So yeah. Apart from the fumes, uh, yeah, it's going well. It's about three hours later and I've gone through seven cans of paint. The airplane's nearly done. There's there's still uh, lots of the underbody part that needs to be painted still. Uh, the midsection needs to be done. You can see it's a bit patchy around here. The back's pretty well done. It turned out nice and I managed to cover all of it. Uh, the reason I stopped is I ran out of paint cans, so I need to go buy some more. Uh, I was sort of glad it happened though, because I was a bit sick of painting. Fumes are not... Oh, I mean, they're bad. They're bad now that I can smell them, but with the mask on, the fumes aren't too bad. I can manage. I I did about three hours straight in here without leaving, so <laughs> I'm either really high or the mask is doing its job all right. So, yeah. Still the same structure, just now it's gloss black. Bring the camera in. The floor is very sticky, you can hear that. This is exciting because after this I can start bolting stuff in. Oh look at that, that's nice. Uh, probably shouldn't have that on the wall. So I might wrap that video up here. Uh, I'm an absolute mess, as you can see. I'll call this video quits. The The rest of it's I'm only gonna go through another two or three cans and it'll be completely painted. So after that, then we'll start part video number three, fitting out the KFA Explorer. And we'll bolt in the floor, boards, the baggage compartment, the flight controls, what we've got. The rest of them are still at that shop. Getting the electroplating done, the chroming. Uh, we'll rig all the controls back, we'll put the horizontal stabilizer, the rudder, all that sort of stuff in. And then we'll be able to kick off into the actual build and get away from the painting side of things. So yeah, it's not the most exciting video I know. Painting's not that exciting either, so I can only make do um, with what we're doing at the time. So. Filming and painting and doing everything myself is a little bit hard, but I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm sure I'll get better. 
So in that case, I'll see you on video number three.